Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to uh, the Southeast Florida mid-year market report by myself. I am Mike Thomas. I am a broker associate uh, here in Palm Beach County, and I'm going to go over what's going on in the marketplace right now. Uh, this is the latest numbers that we have for um, July. So if you take a look at your screen, you'll see July down here. And what I look at mostly is medium sales price, um, 600,000 uh, in July, which was the medium sales price number over last year, same time, July, of course, of last year. And we are up 21.2% in single family homes. Right here we go, single family houses. Uh, in 2022 and 2021 comparison and what the changes were. Of course, we have townhouses and condominiums right below that. Those are our figures for there. And I'm just going to go over this very quickly. So $600,000 is the medium sales price. So are home sales prices up? The answer is yes. 21.2%. Um, that's a lot over last year this time. Townhouses, we have the same numbers we have uh, that are up um, medium sales price, 265,000, uh, which is up 23.3% over last year. So that number is up as well. So when people are saying that the market is coming down, uh, the real estate market is bad, um, I don't know what market they're talking about, but it's not here in Broward County. So those are just some things to look at. There's some other neat little things in here, like inventory is going up. And what happens when inventory goes up, there's going to be more homes for buyers to choose from. But the real estate prices are still at 600000 So there may be more houses to look at, but the prices are still going to be up. That's what that tells me. And so... Those are the kind of things that we look at. Um, inventory is when inventory gets so high that there is that there are more homes uh, to buy than there are buyers in the marketplace. Then will we see a shift and maybe home prices coming down? But I don't see that right now. Not in Broward County. Not in July 2020. So let's take a look at Palm Beach County. Uh, county where I'm in. Um, so the medium, again, single family homes, 2022 over 2022 in the month of July, we are at single family homes. The medium sales price is 600,000 last year, this time 500,000 up 20% over last year. What does that say? Home prices are up over last year. Townhouses and condominiums. Same thing, uh, townhouses and condominiums were up from 290,770 um, to over last year, which was 2000 or $233,000. So we're still up, even though inventory is going up over last year, but there weren't very many homes on the market last year at all because we were still wearing masks. We were still under COVID strict conditions. So that could be uh, one of the factors on that. Martin County, Florida, uh, again, single family homes um, in 2022 versus 2021, up 18% over last year. Um, and medium price homes up 35%, over 35%, 35.8% over last year. That, folks, is amazing. And um, so when people say, oh, my God, the real estate market is coming down, I'm going to wait for prices to come down. I don't know how long you're going to wait. Uh, when these numbers start turning and these numbers start going in a different direction, then, yeah, that may be a possibility. But for right now, I'm not seeing it. Not here in Florida, not here in southeast Florida, um, where, of course, we are in the east coast. But I am going to go through St. Lucie County right now. And St. Lucie County in 2022 over 2021, single family houses, 
We're up to almost $400,000 for the medium sale price house compared to last year, 315,000. That's up 26%, 26%. That is a lot. Uh, townhouses and condominiums, uh, 2022 versus 2021, we're up 20.4% um, from 264,950. Um, that's what's what the medium sales price was in July. And uh, 2020, uh, two hundred twenty thousand dollars over last year. So, our last county, Martin Dade County, and Martin Dade County, we're still up ten point seven percent. Last year, a single family or this year, single family home was five hundred and seventy thousand uh, dollars. Last year, it was five hundred and fifteen thousand, and that is still ten point seven percent higher than it was last year. Townhouses and condominiums, um, 380,000 versus 340,000 last year, 11.8%. What does that mean? Well, Miami is congested. A lot of people have, are, you know, moving from Miami, actually bypassing uh, um, <clears throat> Palm Beach County and going directly to either Martin County or St. Lucie County. And that's what's happening here. That's the movement of the buyers. So we have to take a look at some stuff as far as restrictions go. Are we wearing masks? Are we not wearing masks? Are things back to normal? Do we have supply? What are the builders doing right now? Right now, I've been out to builders looking at homes and asking builders, hey, listen, do you have any homes that my buyers can buy right now and move in within 30 days? And the answer is still no. And what that means is that the sales are greater than production. Uh, the sales are outselling uh, the construction people. Uh, we can't build houses fast enough, is what we say. Now, if it's the opposite, where we have a lot of homes in the inventory, and we ask builders, hey, listen, how many homes do you have for sale right now that I can move a buyer into within the next 30, maybe 45 days? And they give you a higher number you know, 10 houses, 15 houses, then we know that the market is slowing down. But currently it is not slowing down here in Southeast Florida uh, and neither in Martin County, Palm Beach County, Broward County, Miami-Dade County, or Port St. Lucie County. And that is the mid-year 2022 report uh, right from our Palm Beach Board of Realtors, which are Beaches MLS actually covers if you look at it, uh, Broward County, Palm Beach County, and St. Lucie Board of Realtors. So we are a joint board of Broward, Palm Beach, and um, St. Lucie. Uh, Miami provides us their data from their board, and we provide our data to their board. So this is the most accurate information that I have to date in our local area. I can't uh, uh, say anything about any other areas, maybe on the East Coast or Tampa or, or Jacksonville because that's not our board and I can't comment on any other states because I don't know what you know Georgia or North Carolina or South Carolina are doing because I'm not part of their board either but I can tell you here in Southeast Florida the market is still strong it's still hot people are still coming down here and demanding real estate and that's what it's all about it's supply and demand if the supply is low and the demand is high, um, it's gonna be a hot market. If the supply is high and the demand is low, then of course it isn't. But how long are you going to rent or not buy waiting for the market to come down? Maybe to jump another 20 or 30% before there's a you know, 15% correction, who knows? I don't have a crystal ball, but I can tell you this right now, Flo Southeast Florida market is looking good uh, mid-year 2022.